Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening approaching the midnight hour and I'm humbled, blessed, and glad to be able to come and share a prayer and I will start with scripture. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7, the Lord does not see as man sees, for man looks at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor. We thank you for seeing us as you do, Father God. And we thank you for your precious Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power. And we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to be in this prayer, to guide our thought, our walk, and our talk. Heavenly Father, we come asking you to pardon us from our sin, those who we committed intentionally or unintentionally, in thought and or indeed to offend thee, Father God. We, we pray for the bereaved heart, the broken heart, Father God. We pray for those, all of us, who, who need a touch, a word from you mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, and spiritually, Father God. We pray for those who don't know you to come to know you and taste you and see how good you are. And Father God, for those of us who do know you, Father God, I pray that we draw closer to you, Father God, and, and don't grow weary in doing what you have called us to do, Father God. And we pray for our youth, Father God, a covering over our youth, especially those who are um, <coughs> out in school. Father God, we pray for safe passage as they go to and from school and from everyone on the school campuses, Father God. Oh, we plead your blood. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We pray for peace starting here in these United States in our very own community and world peace, Father God. We pray that we can find common positivity to come together, Father God, and, and live in unity as brothers and sisters, Father God. Um, we pray for law enforcement as they respond to um, many things, Father God, that they can't unsee, as well as first responders and firefighters, Father God, and those in the travel industry. And we pray for those serving in the military, especially those who are away from their family. We ask the covering over them and their households, Father God. Um, on this um, today, some people celebrated D-Day, Father God, or or remembered D-Day, and um, we remember D-Day also as um, Cousin David's birthday. May he rest in peace, as well as there was a Tuskegee Airman who will finally be laid to rest after being um, missing and identified for over 80 years. So we pray that that family can have closure and peace. And we pray for all of the people who are still missing and who have been casualties of war and civil unrest, Father God. We know that you can. We just pray that you will, Father God. We also thank you for the life of um, Judge Sandra Sandra Day O'Connor, Father God, a pioneer who stood up for justice for women and civil rights, Father God. And you know that there is so much divisiveness and evilness going on, Father God. But I thank you for all those who are called, who answer the calling to stand up, to, um, to stand up for people's rights that we can all be treated equally, that we can all be treated nice, that we can, again, um, grab some humanity and live as a people, loving people, Father God. So I pray, I pray, I thank you for my prayer partners who touch and agree with me, Minister Allen, Morning Glory Group, Shape Group, um, the Allen Family Group, the Grateful Praise Line, the wonderful women of God, and I hope that I've named everyone, but I just thank you for all of the intercessors, all of those 
who are praying in my home church, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, their 6 p.m. daily prayer call. And I thank you for Senior Pastor Greg Foster and First Lady Amy and all of the kingdom building of not only our church, but every church that's open in your name. And we continue to ask the covering over them, Father God. As well as I wanted to um to to thank um publicly Chris Pratt as he received an award he spoke he spoke out about the importance of God and, and he did not hide his faith. I pray that more people who are who have a platform will speak out and share their faith, not as to um uh, elicit um false things but to share their faith so that someone can be encouraged in this mean cruel world when so many people bully and do so many things on social media that people will not be ashamed of their faith that they will not be ashamed to pray out to you because we know that prayer works we know that prayer works in the morning um in a noonday um in the evening and definitely in the midnight hour father god so we thank you that we can come to you we thank you that we can pray father god and i pray that we will not be ashamed of our faith because children do watch and people so many people are influenced by what goes on on the tv and social media so i pray that if people are given the opportunity to share your word genuinely and authentically father god for a time such as this that we seize the opportunity i thank you and i love you and i bless your holy name jesus i thank you for my daughters Thank you for my mom, my brothers, my family. Um, as we come into the um, holy season, those who celebrate Hanukkah, Father God, I pray a covering over them as well as um, this celebratory season, the season of giving, the season of hope, Father God. I pray that people really will take time to thank you for the many blessings that you bestowed upon us. So um, I pray that I didn't forget anything, charge it to my head and not my heart. But in closing, if anyone out there needs a prayer partner, Father God, I pray Pray that they reach out to me, that they reach out to a Bible teaching and preaching church, that they get connected, Father God, for we know that we cannot do this without you. We know that you are our, our source, our strength, our peace. You are everything that we need, and we thank you for that, Father God. So in the matchless name of Jesus, I do pray. Amen. He left us in peace, so I too will say peace, and go ahead and share this prayer, and um, subscribe. And I just wanted to share um, one last little note. I met a wonderful lady named Miss Alice, and she was saying how she sing, and I said, well, I, I don't have that, I didn't get that talent like my daughters, and she said, that's okay, singers need listeners. Peace.